Imagine this, Terry. You wake up from a dead sleep and a stranger is standing over you with a knife. Well, that's one Largo woman's reality. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us now live from where it all happened with more. Chip. Well, and Jen, this condo complex is not far from the Starkey Road intersection of Almerton. The victim tells me she went to bed on Friday night, Friday the 13th, and was awakened several hours later in a living nightmare. Fernanda didn't want to show her face. I just heard, like, my door slamming, and when I turn around, there's this big guy with his shirt open looking at me with a knife in his hands. I don't know who he was. I don't know what he wanted. But she wanted to tell her story. What were you thinking, that this guy was going to hurt uh, you? Probably. If I didn't wake up, I, I believe so. I don't know. He could have soft came me, abused me, killed me. I don't know. This is the knife-wielding intruder police are now looking for. The video isn't great, but in some cases it doesn't need to be. Take a good look at how the man walks and what he's wearing. Fernanda tells me things took an odd turn when she told him she was calling the police. And I told him I was going to call the cop, and he looked at me and he said, I am the cop. And I was like, no, you're not. you got to leave my house. And my parents are praying and yelling at him as well. Largo police assure me this guy is not one of them, although they would let him ride in the back of one of their cruisers. They tell me finding him before he makes another house call is top priority. And if they do catch this individual, he will face a charge of burglary of an occupied dwelling, although police tell us he didn't steal a thing. Reporting live in Largo, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.